In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Massachusetts. At number one, we have Fenway Park. This iconic baseball stadium is home to the Boston Red Sox and is one of the oldest ballparks in the country. Its unique features, such as the green monster left field wall, make it a memorable place for any baseball fan. At number two, we have the Freedom Trail. This two five-mile-long path through downtown Boston passes by 16 locations significant to the history of the United States. Walking the trail is like stepping back in time, as you'll pass by historic sites such as the Massachusetts State House and Paul Revere's house. At number three, we have the Boston Public Garden. This beautiful park in the heart of Boston is known for its swan boats and the makeway for duckling statues. The park's Victorian-era heritage is reflected in its beautifully maintained flower beds and tree-lined paths. At number four, we have the Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum. This interactive museum offers a chance to relive the famous event that sparked the American Revolution. Visitors can participate in a reenactment of the Boston Tea Party and explore exhibits about this pivotal moment in American history. At number five, we have the Museum of Fine Arts. One of the largest museums in the United States, it houses a vast collection of art from around the world. From ancient Egyptian artifacts to contemporary American art, there's something for every art lover here. At number six, we have the North End. Known as Boston's Little Italy, this neighborhood is famous for its Italian restaurants, historic buildings, and the Paul Revere House. The narrow, winding streets give the North End an old-world charm that's hard to resist. At number seven, we have the Boston Public Library. Not only is it the third-largest public library in the United States, but it's also a stunning architectural landmark. The library's Renaissance Revival architecture, grand reading rooms, and beautiful courtyard make it a must-see. At number eight, we have the John F. Kennedy Presidential Museum and Library. This museum dedicated to the 35th President of the United States offers a comprehensive look at Kennedy's life and presidency. Exhibits cover everything from his childhood to his time in the White House. At number nine, we have the House of the Seven Gables. This 17th century colonial mansion in Salem is famous for its connection to Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel of the same name. Visitors can explore the historic house, its beautiful gardens, and learn about its literary significance. At number 10, we have the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. This unique museum, housed in a Venetian-style palace, showcases the art collection of Isabella Stewart Gardner. The museum is also known for the unsolved theft of 13 artworks in 1990. At number 11, we have Boston Common. As the oldest city park in the United States, Boston Common has a rich history. It's a great place for a leisurely stroll, a picnic, or to simply enjoy the outdoors in the heart of the city. At number 12, we have Faneuil Hall Marketplace. This historic site has been a marketplace and meeting hall since 1743. Today, it's a bustling shopping center with a variety of shops, restaurants, and outdoor entertainment. At number 13, we have the Samuel Adams Brewery. Here, you can learn about the brewing process, the history of Samuel Adams, and of course, sample some of their award-winning beers. At number 14, we have the Lizzie Borden House. This house in Fall River is where Lizzie Borden allegedly murdered her father and stepmother with an axe in 1892. Today, it's a bed and breakfast and museum where you can learn about the infamous crime. At number 15, we have Harvard University. As one of the world's most prestigious universities, Harvard's historic campus is a sight to behold. Visitors can tour the campus, visit the museums, or simply enjoy the academic atmosphere. At number 16, we have the Museum of Science. This large museum offers hundreds of interactive exhibits covering a wide range of scientific topics. It's a great place for both kids and adults to learn about science in a fun and engaging way. At number 17, we have the Salem Witch Trials Memorial. This somber memorial in Salem pays tribute to the victims of the 1692 witch trials. The memorial features 20 stone benches, each inscribed with the name of a person who was executed during the trials. At number 18, we have the Norman Rockwell Museum. Located in Stockbridge, this museum houses the largest collection of original Norman Rockwell art. The museum also offers insight into Rockwell's life and his depiction of American culture. At number 19, we have the USS Constitution. Known as Old Ironsides, this is the world's oldest commissioned naval vessel still afloat. Visitors can explore the ship and learn about its history at the adjacent museum. At number 20, 
we have the USS Constitution Museum. Located near the ship, this museum offers a deeper look into the history of the USS Constitution and life at sea during the early 19th century. At number 21, we have the New England Holocaust Memorial. This powerful memorial in Boston features six glass towers, each representing a different major extermination camp from the Holocaust. At number 22, we have Quincy Market. This historic market complex near Faneuil Hall offers a wide variety of food vendors, shops, and restaurants. It's a great place to grab a bite to eat and do some shopping. At number 23, we have Commercial Street. Located in Provincetown, this bustling street is lined with art galleries, clubs, and restaurants. It's a great place to experience the vibrant culture of this coastal town. At number 24, we have Beacon Hill. This historic neighborhood in Boston is known for its narrow, gas-lit streets and federal-style row houses. It's one of the city's most picturesque neighborhoods. At number 25, we have Plymouth Patuxet Museums. This living history museum in Plymouth offers a glimpse into the lives of the Pilgrims and the Wampanoag people in the 17th century. Visitors can explore a recreation of the Pilgrim Village and a Wampanoag home site. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Massachusetts. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.